Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've now got Community and Air Divisi Tots inside of FIFA 23. We're able to pack blues finally. It feels so good to have team in season here. But with these cards that are now in the game, I have some issues with their prices, man. I think some of these prices are at very interesting points, and I think a lot of them are too high. I want to talk about that in today's video. Talk about the pros and cons of these current prices and these team in season cards and all the content that dropped yesterday. And of course, I want to look forward into today. What is the market going to do? Is it going to keep rising as a lot of these card prices are up big time? Look at this, Javi for 700K. I bought this for 530,000 coins yesterday. Prices on a lot of out of packs cards are skying as expected. Are they just going to keep going up or could there be content today on Saturday and moving forward that would impact those prices? So I want to take a look at that today and more in the video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I got the fire price here and ready to go as a part of the vibe to this video as well, TFA on the road. But let's go over quickly yesterday's content because there's a lot of talk about with yesterday's releases. We've got the Honko Air Division Tots Objective W, too much else, not too much else to say there if you want to grind it. Jolinton looks nice. He's got the striker secondary position change. He looks more built like a center mid, but high, high work rates, Brazilian links in the Premier League, Newcastle links as well. W card, nice, easy grind to be fair. The one thing I will say is make sure if you want to do this SBC or I mean, not even this, uh, this objective, if you want to do anything out of this objective, a must do part of it is this assist maxers for the XP. Assist five goals using players from Brazil in rival squad battles or foot champs. Make sure you get that done. Everything that you see that little XP with brackets around it, that is XP that is needed to help us progress in the season. And I believe right now we are able to to get level 10 after yesterday's releases we are able to get level 10 if you've completed all of these that are available so play 15 uh if you complete this assist five goals if you complete everything so far i believe you have enough xp to get payet uh, maybe that does count in like the EA play bonus. I'm not entirely sure, but this Payette is really cracked from what I hear. Or if you're going for the 85 times 10, just kind of make sure you look for this XP stuff in here. There's going to be more objectives dropping today on Saturday. We're going to get the TOT Season 1 Swaps Challenge that will give us 1250 XP. So a lot of us will be able to claim these cards here very soon. But those objectives yesterday were nice. Not like insane, but really, really nice. Now, the card that's insane, in my opinion, is this Araujo. This is an absolutely incredible center back in this game. Four-star weak foot, medium high. His future stars were so overpowered. People said he was one of the best center backs in this game already his pace play doesn't look that great but he's just great in game he's got great reactions composure defending stats off the charts and power header trait in absolutely incredible card and people are doing this SBC. I think part of the reason why it's so popular is because it only has two squads. Now, it's not a cheap two squads. 88 and 89 with a team of the week or team of the season. It's coming in just under 500,000 coins. But the fact that it's such a big name, such a meta player for this game, right? That's just a meta player on this game. A lot of people are going out and doing this SBC. You can tell because the Barcelona links are up and the center backs across this game took some really big price hits yesterday. I bought an Usman. Oh my gosh, he's 380K now. He was 280K. He's up 100,000 coins. So many of your Barcelona cards are up. But on the flip side, so many of your other center backs are down. I bought a Marquinhos at 300,000 coins yesterday. He went as high as about 360k. Now he's back down a little bit, but there's really good trading option to opportunities and fluctuations with these center backs as well. But center backs on this game were definitely hurt yesterday because of this Araujo being dropped. So many people went out and are doing this SBC. Kuman I think was down at like 215,000 coins. I'm sure he's up a little bit from where he was before, but that was a crazy, crazy SBC that impacted a lot of the market yesterday. While my game is freezing, let's take a look at the team in packs. We are looking at a community tot side that I still believe is one of the best community tots teams we have ever seen, guys. Like the names in here, the stat boost, you can go either way. Some of the stat boosts look really good. Some people think the stat boosts don't look that good. It really depends on a card by card basis. If we're going to start with the negative first, this Tehran, very disappointing stat boost. Only plus twos all around from his future stars SBC, but there's a lot of hype with this card because a lot of people, myself included, just didn't do the SBC or we kind of forgot to do it. We hear all the hype about this Tehran. So he has a bunch of hype. This is like the number one most popular card on Footbin. So many people want to try this card out and they want to use him. And look at the rest of this team, right? Gabriel Jesus got a W upgrade. 
Uh, Rodrigo, massive upgrade. Kingsley Coleman, insane upgrade on his card as well. Um, you know, Rabo got a really solid upgrade. If you take a look at the Eredivisie team this season as well, Tadic had a really, really big upgrade as well. Bergwijn, Javi Simons, so many great upgrades for a lot of these cards. Um, you know, I love it, right? I'm, I'm a fan of this from EA Sports. It really does feel like it pushes the power curve up. And that's what I want to talk about with these prices, guys, because yes, these cards are really, really insane and it is pushing the power curve up. And there's a lot of gameplay demand and a lot of coins on this game that people are going to buy cards and try out. But I have an issue with some of these prices. Almost 3 million coins for a Gabriel Jesus. Yes, it is a plus four. Yes, he got that weak foot upgrade. He's five star, four star over the winter wild cards. It, it is an insane card, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. We have right now, I believe it's five cards. Jesus, Sanchez, Rodrigo, Bernardo Silva, and uh, Javi Simons. We got five cards that are a million coins or more. Last year in Community Tots and Airdrizzy Tots, we had two. And you look at the rest of the team, you've got a 600,000 coin Kingsley Coman. You've got a 500k Benacer. You have a lot of cards that are in like that three to 400,000 coin range with Taram, Ake, uh, Robertson as well. So this team is actually really expensive, which makes it nice when you pack one because it's worth a lot of coins. But at the same time, I think some of these cards are overpriced. And I think that is because uh, a couple things, right? First things first, I want to take a look at the pack weight. EA actually, remember in yesterday's video, we looked at 15% chance out of a 100,000 coin pack. I don't know if there's any 100K packs right now in the store. Um, I believe this pack, that's a 50K. There was a pack that they had. Wow, there are so many packs. A pivot pack is in the, in the store. A second half jumbo ultimate pack. That's not really a 100K pack. So there's really not a comparable 100K pack that is in here. But uh, we were looking at the percentages on some of these packs and it was a little bit less than last year, including uh, the moments, right? The moments cards, special item right here as it's listed, that's actually a uh, TOTS player. A, a moments card has its own separate, but we were looking at the 100K packs that were in the store earlier. It was about 10% with the moments adding about 3% in. So the pack weight seems to be a little bit less, which could contribute to the prices being a little bit higher. Uh, yes, the stat boost being really nice could also contribute to the prices being a bit higher, but really what I think it is, is A, there's a lot of coins still in this game. People have been uh, holding packs. People have been building up their coins for the la greater part of like two or three weeks, four weeks, or team of the season. These are the first TOTS cards that get dropped into the game. There's always a lot of hype for the very first team of TOTS cards that get released. I think that's really a big part of it is people really wanted to see the boosted TOTS cards and now they're here and they're willing to spend a lot of coins for them. I don't think these prices are going to last. I mean, guys, look at this Alexis Sanchez. 95 rated Alexis Sanchez. Yes, he has 99 dribbling. Like that looks like a TOTS card. GG's EA. But we've got the fantasy Alexis Sanchez that if Marseille, if they win this weekend, this card is going to go to a 94. It's going to be just one rating lower than the 95. This card right now is 300,000 coins. 300,000 coins for this 93 versus a plus two being 1.4 million coins. That to me is too much of a discrepancy. That is what I point at right now and say a lot of these cards are overpriced and I do believe they will fall today, right? It's no surprise. The second day these cards are in packs, they almost always fall down in price. Now there could be some fluctuations upwards this morning. I picked up a Kingsley Coman at 580, 590,000 coins. I do believe that his price can go back up into the morning hours today. Taram is going to be one that a lot of people will want to be buying and trying out. So I do believe you'll see some positive movements on the market today. I don't think it's going to be absolutely crazy though, because uh, I, I do believe a lot of these cards are overpriced, but again, people want to try out TOTS cards. So it makes sense. There's a lot of demand, but also I think there's a decent amount of supply um, as a lot of people were opening packs yesterday. So just be careful with these TOTS cards. I do believe they will fall off during the day today, but they did start cheap, right? Yesterday we said it, these cards were going to start cheap. And if you got any of them really early on yesterday, you made some really big money. Javi Simons is a perfect example of that. This card was 700,000 coins. 
he went all the way to 1.3 mil. He's now down at 900K. Um, he's probably going to go up a little bit more this morning. There are so many examples of cards. Tadic was like 85,000 coins on a lower budget even. He was like 85,000 coins. Tadic right now is 109 right there. I think he's rising. I picked up a bunch of Tadic at like 105. Yeah, he's like 115 right now. So some of these cards are going to go low. They're going to rebound a little bit into today on Saturday. But their prices started really low and they went up. In the first hour, you, you guys might not even believe this. I sold some of these guys too early because I was going back out in the market to trade. I bought a Kingsley Coman for, I think it was like 470,000 coins. He was that low. Geertruda was 80K. Uh, who else did I buy? I bought a Taram for 290, man. And Taram went all the way to like 400,000 coins. There were a ton of amazing fluctuations in that first hour. So if you bought any Tots cards there, GG, those prices are up a ton. But I do believe they will be coming down today. So be very careful if you're holding any of those Tots cards. Their prices will definitely drop into tomorrow. Now let's talk about the rest of the market. Because you're like, Nate, what's going on with the rest of your transfer list? As we talked about leading up to yesterday's content, we knew... People are going to open packs. Prices were going to go up. I got a couple lazy sales, but some of these guys' prices just went up so much yesterday. Jota was 150. I bought him there, sold him at 199. This Isak, I got a lazy on, but remember yesterday he was 260K. He's now up to like 350,000 coins. Firmino had a really nice price rise. Lampard, I bought at 320, sold at 399. Prices on this game, like everywhere, are, are going crazy. You look at some of the Trophy Titans. Their prices have rebounded incredible amounts. Torres up over 100K. Del Piero up almost 200,000 coins. Um, even some of the cards like Ferdinand is up like 30K from where he was. There are prices that are going up literally everywhere across this game. And uh, some of them are actually down. Look around the market today on Saturday, early in the morning. If you have coins, the market is now what we would declare a lot more healthy, right? Javi. I sold for 700,000 coins, and right now he's back down to 620, which for me is kind of like, uh, if I had coins right now, I would be looking at this guy. Look at this graph yesterday, right? From 540K, this is where I bought Javi for 530. He went all the way up to 700K. I sold him right there. Maybe got a little bit lucky, but I figured he was going to go to 700, and now he's back down to 620,000 coins. For the rest of the market, out of packs players, whether you bought like foot birthdays, whether you bought um, you know any other cards that are out of packs that are going up, here's my advice to you. You don't have to sell right now. Prices are probably going to continue to go up. Darwin Nunez, over 400,000 coins, right? W rise there. There's no more panic, right? Before these prices were staying low because there was panic. These card prices should continue to rise in the coming days as less people are listing these cards up and more people are going out and buying cards for their teams to play weekend league to play gameplay and all that good stuff now the word of caution that i will throw your way is the only thing that can really impact these card prices now is content that gets released if we have and we're going to look at a couple of leaks that could be potential content pieces for today like we saw yesterday with the Araujo SBC, if there are other players that are released that are really, really hype in other certain positions, that's the biggest potential coin loss upcoming for some cards on this market. So just, of course, you have to be a little bit careful, but uh, that's kind of the only, I guess, like bad thing that could happen right now. Other than that, the market should continue to stay very healthy. Prices should continue to keep going up. I mean, look at some of our regular um, guys that we look at, right? We always look at Golden Mbappe. Golden Mbappe is up like 50K, right? He's 350,000 coins. He was 300K flat. So he is up. Ginola was like under 500,000 coins. I wonder what Ginola is. He was like 470 at his lowest. He is now almost 600,000 coins, right? Some really big price rises. And if there's cards that are like low today, like I've already seen a couple of prices like the Javi that I mentioned, a couple of prices that I'm looking around the market and seeing that are kind of low after they had some big spikes yesterday, buy into those. I mean, the, the market is very, very healthy now. Prices are just gonna continue to go up. So if you're seeing low prices today, in the morning on Saturday on out of packs cards, I would feel very confident in buying those as a lot of people are going to go be buying and be building out some of the cards from their teams and playing weekend league just because there's going to be a lot of demand right now on this game for that. So let's talk about the content that could be coming today though, right? Of course, we do have a couple of leaks and uh, I think some of the other tots moments that we had leaked. Alan St. Maximin. Some of the guys are asking like, where is Matoma? Where are some of these other guys that we saw leaked that we haven't actually seen anything for in the game yet? That is the potential SBC content, I think, 
for today. Now, first things first, we're going to get a challenge SBC. So watch out for some of your non-rares and rares, uh, like we saw in objectives. There's this objective here in the set that gives us XP. It's the TOTS Season Swap Challenge 1. So we're going to get this SBC today. Who exactly knows what it's going to be? But we'll get that today. And then, of course, we do have a couple of leaks. And I want to take a look at these cards here. We've got Delafeu. We've got Araujo's already dropped. Luke De Jong, Bijelo, Paulinha, Mitoma, and ASM. I feel like ASM is probably the card that would impact prices the most on this game if he is released. Now, we didn't get Delofeu flashback yesterday, as Foot Sheriff said, and some of these leaks have been a little bit off, right? Um, he said that uh, Hanko was going to be an SBC earlier. He dropped it as objective. It was leaked that Bijelo was going to be an objective. He's not in the game right now. So watch out for our SBC player today. I'm not expecting a crazy day of content today on FIFA besides the player SBC that we get. I feel like it's a player SBC today that could really impact this game. And then the store packs, right? I mean, we've already got a crazy number of store packs that are in here. We've got a 300K pivot, pivot pack. We have the second half packs with the cool TOTS design around them, right? 25% of a TOTS player, EA is gonna get a lot of people to open this pack. It's also tradable, this one is. That's pretty crazy. So um, at the same time that we have a lot of content, maybe in SBCs today, or at least a couple of SBCs, watch the store because there will be a lot of store packs over this time frame that I think EA will try to get a lot of people to open. So watch out for that on today's game, um, as well as maybe some prices dropping further on fodder. I wanna take a look at fodder to end this video off because we did have some fodder movement yesterday. It wasn't quite that amazing though to really trade with and invest in. 85s are still up. Like we expected, a lot of people went out and did that 80 or the 90 plus icon pack, but 85s are really the only fodder rating that have kind of survived that. There's still 13,000 coins. They've survived all the supply. 88s right now, they're down a lot, right? These guys are really, really low, but it is because there's so much supply and these new TOTS cards are really packable, right? That's what we fear with TOTS cards every year. These cards did go up a little bit at, at, after the content drop. They went from like 25K up to about 27, 28. But then the continued lightning rounds, the continued supply just made these prices kind of drop down and they are a little bit lower. Now I sniped the Benzema at like 52K. So I was like, yo, that was a really, really cheap price. These guys were about 60K for about an hour after content. So there really wasn't a huge trading opportunity there with those like I thought there maybe was going to be. Um, and now their prices are even lower, which was kind of expected with the um, high rated TOTS cards being out in this game. So just be careful with the high rated fodder. I'm not expecting a huge SBC today to make, to make that stuff go up. But what I would look at now is your 83s are back at 900 coins. Your 84s are back at 2.9K. Even your 86s, right? They're matching the prices of 85s at 12.5K. It's kind of crazy how cheap those are. So if I was to invest in any fodder right now, I'd maybe look at 84s. But I just don't exactly know what fodder is going to go up a ton this next week. I'm not expecting a new icon pack today because the 90 plus team of the year full birthday icon pack uh, is uh, going to be still available today. It's going to expire, I think, tomorrow on Sunday. So I'm not expecting a new one to come out in place of that yet. Make sure you get your daily login done, of course. Um, that should be a part of SBC content today as well. So Saturdays are usually a little bit quieter. Last week, Saturday was not with the 90 plus, but I don't think we're getting a big SBC like that today on this game. So watch your TOTS card prices. Good luck if you're grinding the weekend league. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of gameplay demands still today on this game. It'll be a great day to trade. If you're going to work the market, if you time things right, it'll be a really great day to trade. But enjoy your teams and let me know down in the comments what TOTS cards you have packed. I somehow packed five yesterday. So from the save packs, I'm saying those 86 plus doubles were really, really insane. Uh, I didn't pack any big ones, but did pack Declan Rice, did pack uh, the Danilo twice, and uh, also packed, I picked up a, a couple Air Divisi cards, Gear Truda and Pavlidis. So those are the five cards I've packed so far. We're gonna pack a lot more this week from 81 plus player picks, but before those drop, Got to try to open some maybe from like the 80 plus doubles that are still available or whatever that may be or your weekly rewards. So best of luck grinding weekend league. I'm going to go catch some sleep. I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow. Same time as always. It's been Nate's Foot Account. Like the video if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. It's been Nate's Foot Account. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.